Hey guys, I'm standing here at a beautiful place in Antwerp. We had a beautiful cruise ship here and the sunset. And um, I'd love to talk to you guys about um, investing because I made a little, well, pretty big mistake in uh, my previous video. Um, um, it's something I also realized actually. Um, I have increased, uh, like, over the years, I have invested more and more in, um, I have taken on a lot more risk, especially the past three years, two years when Bitcoin was on a low. I decided to go 80% cryptocurrencies, and within my portfolio, I also decided to allocate more to altcoins than to Bitcoin. And um, my reasoning behind that was that the risk reward ratio of these altcoins was actually a lot better than Bitcoin. And so they deserved a bigger allocation in my portfolio. But one important thing I forgot was that, um, well, I, 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 that I do realize, and, but I haven't found a solution on, is that the overall risk level of my, my portfolio has gone up a lot and actually too much and I had hoped to lower my risk by investing in different high risk reward ratio investment investments but that are not correlated and that's actually not possible I start to realize thanks to my brother who said that um, you know you do, I, it, it does make sense to want to have a low risk, overall risk on your total portfolio. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, everybody wants that. Um, and so, uh, but the problem is, yes, in theory, you could like invest in 20 or 10 very different investments that have a high risk reward ratio. A lot of noise here. But um, that, is, um, that is just too hard for me also. I can't find it, I'm not even looking for it. I don't have time for that. All my time is already spent in cryptocurrency world and that's a highly correlated asset. It doesn't matter what altcoin you invest in or Bitcoin. In the end, like this whole industry can fail uh, or succeed and it's gonna be strongly correlated with each other. Um, and so, uh, I did invest in one startup, Cell411, that uh, is uh, an app. Um, that's a different market. Gold is also a different market. Uh, but um, I should have a lot more uh, inversely correlated assets, and I, I don't have that. And, I, and that I have no hope to have that because I'm not even looking for it. And, and so, yeah, uh, I realized that uh, it makes sense to, um, to actually invest more in Bitcoin uh, versus altcoins because the risk is a lot lower in Bitcoin than in altcoins. That's just the case. Um, uh, actually, uh, the potential reward is also a lot lower, but the risk is also a lot lower. Uh, and, um, and, uh, and so, yeah, um, that's why I decided to keep it at 50-50 and, and plan ahead and, and we'll also have it at 50-50 uh, uh, if Bitcoin succeed to go to the all-time high of thousand, thousand hundred dollars, I will also um, uh, be at 50-50 um, and from there I'm gonna just let it grow and, and um, if it works out altcoins are going to go up a lot more than Bitcoin in that bu new bubble and then uh, I can uh, let that uh, become uh, unbalanced eh? hopefully my altcoins will then become 70 80 percent of my crypto portfolio if they go up more than bitcoin um, and then at the height of the bubble i will uh, sell uh, sell everything very hard but altcoins especially because they will likely correct also a lot more than bitcoin um, so that's an important uh, piece um, that i had to correct on my previous video and uh, do I have anything more to say about that? Um, yeah, I think 
uh, actually the solution to my problem is um, to you, I, I don't think you can do it yourself to find a lot of inversely correlated assets um, you know I think the solution there is to outsource it and to have different um, people manage a piece of your portfolio and then um, and make sure that every uh, portfolio manager is, uh, is, is, is has a high risk reward uh, ratio portfolio but is specialized in, in certain industry that makes uh, a lot of sense that's how Bill Gates also does it all the many billions he has um, diversified out of Microsoft it is uh, invested by one guy but that guy actually invests um, diversifies his portfolio over different managers um, and, 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 and uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense um, but of course it is also it is as difficult to find a good manager than it is to find a good investment um, so, 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 so it's a full time job uh, to find uh, great managers for a piece of your portfolio and that's only worthwhile if you have a lot of money to manage otherwise it's more interesting to focus on your niche industry uh, that's already difficult enough for cryptocurrency in my case uh, to find um, great investments and then still uh, you can totally fail so 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 but yeah um, voila um, so uh, to close off uh, I will go give you guys a, a nice quote from time to time and the quote uh, of uh, this video uh, is no venture no gain it's the quote that I have lived by more and more the past few years in my investments you do have to take a risk because otherwise you can't make a gain um, voila have a great day guys bye